first video of 2016. So I recently did a poll on my Twitter account to make a video between supplements help or goal setting video. And as you can see, the goal setting video won and that's what I'm gonna be doing this video on today. If you're not already following me on Twitter, it's at Luke underscore Telma, so give that a follow. So goal setting, why is it important? The reason why goals are so important is because it gives you a little bit of structure on where you're going and in what time so that you can progress and move on to new things and better things as well. I also think this is a reason why some people keep failing continuously and it kind of turns into insanity. You know, you do the same thing over and over again looking for a different outcome. It's probably because they haven't set their goals properly. So usually I break it down into short, medium and long-term goals. So your long-term one could be anywhere from now in January to next January. So give yourself a year, long-term goal. And then half a year would be your medium term goal and any time before that would be your short term goal. It's such an easy structure just to set yourself three main targets, big ones and have maybe slightly smaller ones in between. But then you have a time frame to aim for each time so that you carry on progressing and you don't get lost in absolutely nothing. So what would I consider as a long term goal? With some of my clients, some of them need to lose a lot of weight to become healthier, fitter and just to look better, and that's, that's what they want, that's what they've come to me for. Some of them at the moment, they wanna lose about three stone. Now, in terms of some of the people I train, they haven't trained all their life, or they haven't trained at all. So that would probably be their long-term goal. So the medium-term goal would be maybe like, you know, one and a half stone. And the short-term one could probably even be something as simple as drink three liters of water a day. Once you find the basis of your main three, you can then, as I said, make other little ones in between that could, you know, be a catalyst to help speed up that process to get to the goal or just to build up as well. So what happens if you reach that goal before the time frame? Well, it's simple. You make another one. Never, ever settle. If you reach a goal, don't go, where we go? I've got, got a few months now to do what I like. Nah, make a new one. If you've got to that goal quicker than you should have, then make another one within that two months, say. You finish that goal two months early. So from that time to another two months, what can you do in that time? Push yourself, come out of that comfort zone and see how many things you can achieve in that space of time. On the other hand, what do you do if it goes wrong? Well, I use a simple thing with my goals called RAP. Reevaluate, adjust and progress. So one, reevaluate. If you look at your goals and you haven't achieved them or you've gotten past the time period when it should have been and you haven't got there, you reevaluate, sit down, see what the goal is. Is it realistic? Was it right for that time frame? Should you have made it longer? Should you have made it shorter? Was it too easy of a goal? You have to take all of these things into account, reevaluate it, and then go from there. Adjust. So the adjust is adjusting the goal, obviously. Should I give it a new time frame? Should I make that my long term goal? Okay, so you tweak it a little bit, you adjust the goals and go from there. And lastly, progress. The progress stage is mental. So sometimes if you fail or you don't get to the goal that you wanted to, it's negative, you know? You think, oh, do you know, I really wanted to get to that. And you can be a bit down about it. But as soon as you reevaluate and you adjust, the progress stage is really important because that's how you move on. So you've got to get your head in the game, you've got to crack on and smash the goals. The last point I want to make there, should you be realistic in goals? I think there's a fine line between being realistic and then pushing for something to get better. So for example, with one of my clients, if I said we want to lose three stone, ideally, that's what they want to lose. And I said, no, let's make the long-term goal five stone. Although you want to lose that eventually, let's just make it your long-term goal, five stone by the end of the year. You're probably going to lose more weight aiming for five stone than you are for three. Do you get what I mean? So you've got to have a fine line between, oh, I want to lose five stone in two weeks because that's just ridiculous. But if you make it a long-term goal, even if you don't get to that, you're probably gonna do better than you did if you set it slightly more realistic. On the other hand, you need to have a slight realistic approach, otherwise you may not ever hit these goals or achieve these goals. And again, mentally, that could be quite negative. So you've gotta have a fine line. I'd probably say that it's down to the individual, how you take it and what you're aiming for with your goal. But you've got to have a slight bit of realism, but also sometimes it's good to be unrealistic because you can push past what you think is normally possible. So there we go, goal setting done. Extremely important, if it goes wrong, use wrap, reevaluate, adjust and progress. Sometimes be realistic, sometimes make it unrealistic. But make sure you know where you want to go and when, 
and just absolutely push for it, whatever you're doing. Okay, so those of you who would have gone on the Lean With Luke website would see that in my store, I have something called Skype Time. Now, if you like these videos and you wanted to have something one-on-one -on -one with me where you can have a little chat about your own goals, whether it be mental, fitness, or workouts, you can go on there and we can organize a Skype time and me and you will have a sit down and we'll have a chat about anything you like and that's gonna be in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Please share and like these videos. Add a comment as well if there's anything you think I should improve on with this or something you need help with. And as usual, train mean, stay lean.